Recording your runs is something all runners want. Don't lie, you wish you could be like Nick Bear and have a camera crew follow your every move. Unfortunately, some of us just don't have thousands of dollars to hire a crew or friends that can do it for free. In this video, I'm going to share how I record my runs with a GoPro in order to get good footage of my runs. Step one, get an action camera. Me personally, I bought the GoPro Hero 9 just because of the deal that was going on with GoPro.com where you can get the GoPro Hero 9 for $300 when you subscribe for the GoPro subscription for $50. So my total came out to after taxes to about $388. But to be honest, if you're on a stricter budget, I would try to go with something maybe like the GoPro Hero 8 or 7. I personally haven't used them, but people say that there is not that much of a difference. You could also use any other action camera like the DJI Osmo Action or the Insta360. If you have a little bit of extra money, you could go with the GoPro Max 360 for $350 if you get the subscription for $50. I'll leave links to these in the description down below. Step 2. Get a selfie stick. Any selfie stick will work as long as you have the right attachment for the GoPro. I personally use this selfie stick and tripod by FugeTech for about $15. And then I bought this 50 in one accessories for the GoPro, which comes with the screw on attachment for the tripod. The 50 in one accessories comes with a selfie stick, but in my opinion, it feels flimsy and the GoPro weighs it down, making it really heavy. The FugeTech selfie stick slash tripod is also nice because you can use it as a tripod to capture runs on the ground. I do this after my runs, so during my runs, I can focus on my time, but after I'll set my camera down and then catch a running shot. Step three. Make sure to edit your settings on your GoPro to make sure the ISO is low, the shutter speed is fast, edit the frame rate to about 24 frames per second if you want a cinematic look, or 120 frames per second if you want to get that slow motion shot. Play around with the certain settings and see what you like. Step four, practice holding the selfie stick. Practice gripping the selfie stick with different grips and capture some test footage. I would also practice moving the selfie stick to one hand to the other, making sure you will be balanced on each side. Practice extending the camera as far as you can and as close as you can. The closer it is, the easier it is to keep it stable, but the farther you have it, the more subject will be in frame. Step five, run with the GoPro. Try doing different angles like one angle towards you, a side profile, one in front of you, one back and forth from one angle to the front to the opposite angle, the feet, the road, what's in front of you and what's behind you and what's on the side of you. Also, if you're running at the park or the track, you can set the camera down, run through, away or sideways of the camera. Like I said in the beginning, I would do this at the beginning or at the end of my runs. Unless you take a break during your longer runs, you can do that as well. Side note, if you're doing a fast tempo run or a long run, I would probably use either the chest strap or the head strap to record only because you do not want to sacrifice hitting a PR just because you're trying to get some footage. Step six, upload the footage. It is as simple as that. If you guys would like me to do a video on how to edit your running footage, then comment that down below. I personally hope one day I can get a running crew with me and have them record me as I run so I don't have to even bother. But for the time being, I'm okay with recording my footage with a GoPro myself. It makes it more fun because you get to make sure that you're getting the shots that you want. Well, that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you found the video informative, go ahead and leave a like. And also the question of the day, are you embarrassed to record yourself in public? Me and personally, I used to be super embarrassed, but now I get pretty used to it. As long as they don't say that they don't want to be in the video, you're good. Comment your answers down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.